okay guys so uh now we will quickly learn how we can upload multiple images or multiple files using retrofit now in the previous part we have already learned how we can upload an image now if you have not watched the previous part you can go watch it or if you have not watched it it's fine if you have some basic understanding of how to upload images this will work just fine so let's get started okay so first of all for multiple images right let me just copy this and paste this now uh, let me just change this upload multi image right all right so now what we need to do is let's just change this thing to part file one part one uh, let's just call this file one right and and we'll call this file two okay let's call this file two so now we can upload two files or two images all right now let's start call let's say our api will be called upload multi well image images okay so now once we have this ready for two files right what we need to do is we need to go to our main activity let's say we already have this upload image for single thing now what we need to do is we need to convert our single image to multi-part files right so for that we'll have a method called let's say I am messing up my spelling too much here. Private and this will return. What will it return? It will return a multi-part body. It will return a multi-part bodies. What will it return? Part. Okay. And let's say prepare image part. And it will take it will take a path, right? And let's say it's it will just take a path uh, not path name part name okay now let me just fix my keyboard real quick okay now what we need to do is we get the file from the file path right path now one thing you need to do is you need to already have your path you can get it from your gallery camera wherever you have you have it here so i'm not showing that part i'm i hope you already have the path and i'm assuming you already have the path so that we can move ahead of this thing now now what we need to do is after we have our file we just need to convert this into a part right so we go we use request bodies create method for that and then in create we go media type to parse so that it is automatically media type is automatically parsed right and we go get type okay so in this get type method we used to uh, we need uri not the actual file path okay so what we can do is here here is uri dot from file and we get the file cri okay now what is wrong here something is wrong let me just hold over here and see okay we also need a file here right so yeah this is fine now okay so we have our request body right now what we need to do is we need to convert this request body into a part so what we do is we go multi-part body dot part dot create from data right and we just give it our request body no let's say first of all we need to give it a name right so let's just give this the name that we had received what was it it's a part name let's just give it the part name right part name and then we need to give the file name and then finally this is our request body okay so what we've done here is we have converted the file into its part okay and this is the name 
this is the final name this is the request body this is almost it guys we're almost there now once we have this thing ready let's just use it to upload this file into using our where is it using our multiple image uh, upload multi image uh, so for let's create a new method let's just call it upload multiple image right and so in this image what we'll do is in this method we'll use our this thing prepare image part and then use this interface to upload okay so let's get started so first we need the parts right let's say this is image one and file path is file path and then you need to do file part name right let's just call it image okay and for the second thing let's just duplicate it using control d right and this is image 2 now it's file path and file path so now we have the file paths once we have the file path of both the files just give parts a name and these two things we can upload now okay so how we can upload now we just call our interface that we had created okay What do we do is we use upload API start okay not this I forgot I'm forgetting some things very stupid of me I think yeah okay let me just define it first that's, that's very stupid don't do that okay this is not now you can make this global you know i'm trying to do it quickly so i forgot to make it global what we can do now is dot upload multi image and we just send it image one and image two right Let's say uploader okay what did i miss okay this is wrong this needs to be response body okay so that's why you don't rush you forget stuff <laughs> all right now this is okay finally we just need to enqueue it all right so that that is called so we go uploader dot enqueue and here we go new callback And here we get the response right if it is successful we just log i just let's just call it my log and we say we say great success right if it is successful if it is not let's just say this is no let's not call it great let's just call it failure all right guys this is it so what do we what did we do here first of all we need to create a new method here upload multiple image that takes as many files part of files as you want to upload right and then and then we created a method that converts the file into parts right this so this is our method that converts a file into parts so that they can be uploaded using retrofit and finally we get the parts of those two images and use retrofit to upload the images that's it guys that's pretty much it, uh, it and you can try it in your project and now if you have any queries let me know in the comment section below